Do you get on the back of two major fantastic productions we had last year? Awo and Karemo. I would just feel that Bakke will just be a fitting um, continuation of that series. You know, so our vision is to tell our history. Do you understand? So that upcoming Nigerians will remember they are not slaves. Do you understand? We are not slaves. We are people with a strong heritage. We are people with a strong past. I mean, we have very serious leaders in the past. Because that's how we begin to tell the story. So, we're working on the story of Alaji Latif Jakondi. Alaji Latif Jakondi was the first civilian governor of um, Lagos State. Again, in researching this play, we found out that some of the things he achieved far outweigh in four years, far outweigh what most people have achieved on the continent, not only in Nigeria. The story is phenomenal, the story is exciting. I can't even wait to see it myself. Uh, centers around um, Latif Jakondi, the first civilian governor of Lagos State. I am actually playing the role of Latif Kayode Jakondi. So it centers on how we can educate ourselves on voters' apathy, how we can correct the wrongs, how we can make people see the good things that our past leaders have done and emulate from the good things they have done so that we can correct our bad ways of life. I'm one of the cast in this wonderful production. Baba Kekere. It's a stage play we're using to, to showcase and to remind people of the template of the very first civilian governor of Lagos State, Alahaji Chief Latif Jakode. You'll be, I'm sure you'll notice the way I called him. Alhaji, I didn't put late there because there's a man we're still celebrating today. And we believe that what he lived to achieve within the space of four years, we believe that we have somebody somewhere very soon who will be coming out to do the same. And even if not more. Uh, my generation is one of the generation that uh, uh, was, was around when Jack Conde did what he did. I, I attended the uh, Jack Conde schools and all of that. So I witnessed it. I knew what it was. But you know, going into it as a project, it, it, it's a different ball game. So I, in my research materials, I saw that as a governor and Nigeria facing what we are facing now, as, as an executive governor, first executive governor of Lagos State, he did so much in four years, the first tenure, and the second tenure, three months into that tenure, because there was a coup, and he was part of those who, uh, the governors who were arrested and taken in. But the materials were too much for me to put into writing in two months. Yes, I could do it, but for me, it was like, he may not be enough for a man, and it was, it was an avenue again to bring my other folks, my other colleagues, whom we'll be working together again to bring us in and get ourselves educated on it. So the, uh, the work started as a device to work. And then the production of this play, um, Babaki Kere, which is a, a kind of um, docudrama on Latif Kaori Jakonde. He did, in fact, um, extraordinary things that have not been um, achieved by any other governor or even government in Nigeria. In four years, this man built 30,000 housing units. So I think it's about time that we, re we reflect it on the past and know what we do with our future. Vis-a-vis, -vis, um, looking at the quality of leadership, checking out what um, these politi political parties, what they have, with the policies that they have, what plans do they have for the people? In Jack on this time, it was very clear. It was a five-point agenda. Education, housing, health, um, um, general infrastructures, you know, road and all of that. It was very clear and there were blueprints for all of this and they were set in motion at that time. We chose Jack Conde because he's an action governor, 
and is the governor that achieved a lot for Lagos State. He did 30,000 units of housing and schools, made education free, and we felt this is a good reason to do a history play about him. He's one of the leaders that are very, very honest. He was one of the best governors to run Lagos State with a lot of achievements. His footprints are there and we can see them. The housing estates are alive and well. We can see them everywhere. The schools building are being changed now to modern ones. But then it was, and it's on record, that he was the only governor in Lagos State that was able to build 30,000 units of infrastructure, building schools for everyone, and it was free for everyone. All the children then could go to school, even the very, very poor, lowly ones. My character as uh, MC Omolulu, aka Tiger. Okay, so I represent the the art bureaus of then and now. For the dance, it's not just about the choreographer, it's about everybody. It's a form of a workshop whereby if you're a dancer, a choreographer, the dance director, the, the director himself, we have to talk about each of the dance we're going to use for the play. Most of the dances we are using for this play is from Lagos. <laughs> and a lead drama in this play called Babaki Kiri. So we have a drum called Agidigo in the play. So the drum is all about telling the elders what they're supposed to do and what they are not supposed to do. For example, Maybe box. So So whenever they are playing it, so I Secondly, ti awon ijoba ta ni to ba nwa ti oda abi to ba nse nkan ti oda faralu a ma nfi orin agidigbo yen a ma fi nba won wi tore la se ma npo we pe lowe lowe ni lu agidigbo ologbon lo njo omo ran lo mo die it looks back at the values that we have had in times past our connections with those values and how we react to those values values of society has diminished over the years, over decades, and with developmental projects, you are able to get to the bottom of those issues. It's a play that everyone would learn from, not just about um, politics, but also about um, staying true to the words or the promises that we give or we make. Uh, 2023 really is around the corner because when you look at it, we are down to where but we need to sensitize ourselves and our leaders to be on what we expect from them. I am the set and light designer for the production of uh, Baba Kikiri. Uh, we are creating a seaside, sandy area where all activities are happening. So even locals that are not supposed to be on the beach, we need to do it in a way that uh, it will stand on its own. You know, look to, we need to look for a way to blend you know, all this together so that it will be uh, you know, a whole. It has been an amazing experience working on this production from the point of the script up until this very day. It has been challenging, it has had its own challenges, but by and large it's amazing that we are actually depicting the life of a man that did so well in the space of four years, that was able to put together so many things that we can actually look back now and say that, yes, 
we had a governor like that in Lagos State. I'm particularly glad that again Harvest is sponsoring another Duke of Shemulu Productions for Bakikiri. Um, we are particularly stoked about this because of um, the impact of Bakikiri, the legacy of Bakikiri that people like us are still, you know, regaling. Um, but Bakikiri's story aligns with our value greatly. Ours is a story of impact, ours is a story of um, continuous progress and legacies that can only be built on. Uh, Malaji Jakonde, an enigma in his time, uh, his social welfareism comparable to none, a great family man. I grew up around the family. I'm very, uh, I'm very into, I mean, I'm so into the family. Uh, so growing up around the Jakonde era, it was a no-brainer for us to, to be able to partner with the Duke of Somalia on this product. And thanks to Duke of Shomolu production. If not for Duke of Shomolu, this wouldn't have happened. At least he's the kind of angel in human form that we're also talking about because he's been he's been feeding a lot of us as actors, as artists, you know, be whoever you are in the industry. In his own little way, is trust me, that man is is a genius, is is a superhero. Good day. I would like to say a very big thank to Duke of Shomolu, the organizer of Duke of Shomolu. I think in the Nigeria theatre industry, these people have really tried a lot for dancers, both actors. In short, they make it every year. There's a promotion for actors and dancers. The way the country is going, if you can see more people of, uh, like Duke of Shomolu doing uh, this kind of a thing, running a show and making people who are artists to see where to perform, to create, to use their talent, to make money for their self. I think it's going to be very nice. So it will take off a lot of uh, uh, poverty in Nigeria as a whole. It will take a lot of poverty from the theatre as a whole. Duke of Shomolu Productions, I must say, he's, this is what I'll call a laudable project. We've had them um, with AWO. But it's good also because I like where their mind is in trying to immortalize our past heroes. It's something that it's um, a little bit lacking in our present day times. Everybody's so self-involved. Learn a little bit about history as well for all those who don't have an inkling about who Latif Jaconde was. Or probably those who have never even heard of him. And for those who have heard, to refresh their memory and think back on all those good times. Duke of Shomolu production uh, is a blessing to the industry uh, because it's coming on the scene at a time when uh, hope is almost lost in the industry, where drama presentations, live shows are in very short you know, supply. And so that is why the industry is grateful to the intervention of Duke of Shomolu. This production is uh, being produced by the Duke of Shomolo Productions, um, which happens to be one of the biggest production houses in Nigeria today. Um, it's about my third time with the production house, and I would say that they're in the forefront of um, um, promoting theater culture in Nigeria. It's actually a wonderful experience for me working on this production. And the Duke of Shomolu Productions is of course um, pace theater 
at every point in time. And I must commend the production house for all that it's doing. It's very, very encouraging where you have a production outfit like uh, Duke of Shomolu production. It's very encouraging because it's not an easy thing to gather funds to do this kind of project. We have done AWO, uh, uh, there are Aremu and all other production under the, the umbrella of Duke of Shomolu uh, to continue in this way and get gathering the funds to continue to do this. At the same time, uh, uh, doing great service for the nation. It's, uh, it's, I give kudos to the, to the management of uh, Duke of Shomolu. It's huge. And I, even though it is not enough, it is not El Dorado yet, it is not where we think production should be in Nigeria yet, but you see, the drive towards what is needful and what is proper is highly commendable. Uh, with the Duke of Shomolu is highly commendable. I commend the production outfit and I give them kudos. We have not even started just yet. Do you understand? We have not even started just yet. We are going to crack this industry. We are going to build the biggest people's theater in the country. We are going to have 5,000 shareholders.